Always good to be invited, Chad. Absolutely, Ben. What part of the backyard are we at now? Ulua Rock, and this is it. Now, for those who don't put it together, why is it called Ulua Rock? Because um, there's a lot of Uluas here a lot of the time. You just got to be lucky to land on the right day. Yeah, you know, we've had a lot of nice fishing trips with you and your Ohana. And that's one thing that's really nice about this trip, the people you invite. I mean, Ulua fishing is normally a boys club. Yep. But not with you. Nope, not with us. We bring the friends, family, everybody comes with us. So this weekend, what's the drill? Well, the drill this weekend is we're going to come down here and try and do as much as possible, try and catch some Uluas and some Omilus since they're pretty plentiful back here. And if the weather holds up and the wind's right, we might get a bag out there and try for some big fish. Hey, let's go check the gang out. Let's do it. All right. All right. Whenever we do this kind of fishing trip with you, I notice you've been using live bait. Yep. And you used to keep them alive in a swimming pool. Right, right. No more, right? No more, no more. We got a nice live bait tank now, and uh, it's got a bilge pump built into it, so it keep, actually keeps the baits alive for two days. Look at this. Either an omilo or a So you got the, the, the gang catching bait for us yep. nonstop. Non-stop, as much as possible, as long as they can handle being out there, we keep them going. Day and night. Day and night, straight through. What kind of baits are we gonna be using? Well, we're gonna pretty much use whatever they can get for us, and majority of the time is Nainui's and Kupipi's, Mimpachi's, maybe even get lucky and get some big exotic baits, and we'll just put everything out there that we can. Well, you know what they say, good things come to those who wait. Big boy, Omilu. Chad, what do we got going? Got a nice Omilu on right now. Stuck for the moment, but hopefully we can free her up. Scotty, still get him. Still on, he's still on. He's trying to let him swim out. There he goes. There he go. There he comes. There he is. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Oh, beauty! Yes! Yeah! 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 That's the one, that's dinner. Thank you, Scotty. <laughs> hey, Chad, what's the bait this time? Bait this time is going to be Kopipi. See if they'll like that one. Got a nice big boy in here, Monet just caught. So the bait does go on the main line. Yep. But you have a second piece of monofilament with light pound test to hold the fish exactly where you want it exactly. above the water. Exactly. Keep it on the surface. So instead of sliding the bait all the way down to a stopper, you guys are holding that fish at the surface. Yeah, we're doing a form of hang baiting instead of just laying the pole flat out there. What pound test are you using on the breakaway? 12 pound test on the breakaway. Aloha. Right in the front. That's the one. Here he comes. Yes. Oh, my real, my real. Oh, my 
Stay straight. You're right in the front. That's the one. Here he comes. Oh! 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 Ah, he's been your bait, Lopo. Bait came out. That's your bait right now. Bait, bait was out the whole time. The bait was up, yeah. Ooh, that was a real one, too, Bob. That was a oh. monster. Oh, well, Chad, you can't win them all. Yeah, man, but I really want to. Well, the game's not over yet. Here we go, Hanapa. Right on, Jay. That's two for the good guys. Don't go away. More fishing action coming your way right after you catch this.